Man Eater is an open world GTA like shark game where you can do about anything in water and it releases next month on May 22 on PS4, Xbox One and PC. Now I know some people can already see this game as being a random game you get bored after 2 hours and I can understand that but let me tell you why Man Eater is much bigger than you ever anticipated. I've had numerous conversations with the developers over the months and I also went to its E3 showcase last year. As some of you may think it's not a game made for the hell of it, but a true shark project made with heart from its creators, and will be at an honest price of $40 at release. It is filled with different kind of worlds you can explore, each unique in their own ways. It also has massive customization options for your shark, boss battles with different enemies on water and land, and a really good story. What's super promising though is your shark aging and evolving over time, with the developers wanting to add a final megalodon evolution after its release. Sure, you can decide to just swim around and do about anything you'd like, but it promises a really nice story I am excited for. Now here is the story details we know of, with gameplay details following after that. You start out as a full grown bull shark and are introduced to the basics of gameplay, like attacking, jumping and fighting off humans and larger animals. But eventually you are caught and killed by Skelly Pete, which is the main protagonist of Man Eater, revealing that you were a mother to be. The baby, upon being removed, becomes the playable shark and you'll have to eat and evolve if you want to grow up to be big and strong. Starting out as a full grown shark was the perfect way to introduce the tutorial when beginning the game, but being shrunk down to its now abandoned children changes everything. As you play through Man Eater, you can either choose to be a good shark or a bad shark, either ignoring humans on your way or literally causing chaos and eating everyone, which I will definitely be doing. So I and most of you will end up with a bounty on your head, similar to the stars you have in GTA when being chased by the cops. Ignore them or leave the area and they'll leave you alone, or start eating them and they'll be coming after you. The more humans you eat, the higher your bounty. The higher your bounty, the tougher the hunters become. Swimming through the ocean as a young shark isn't easy since you aren't the biggest fish in the sea. Predators like huge crocodiles, whales, barracudas will actively hunt you, but you can still seek out smaller fish to quench your hunger and level up before taking on them. The game will first give you goals, which will then give access to upgrades. Once you reach the open sea, Man Eater becomes a true open world action game. You can go anywhere from the beginning, but be careful of other predators. Now, the game's main story is said to be of around 10 hours long and about 16 if you do the side quest, but you can just hang around for much longer causing chaos or finding secrets throughout the world. If missions aren't really your thing, you can also just fool around looking for trouble. The game offers a number of optional tasks, goals, discoverable checkpoints, hidden resource boxes and other secrets for players to find. As soon as your shark hits its adolescent stage, the entire game map opens for true exploration. Now about the map. There's gonna be 7 really large regions in this open world, including bayous of the Gulf Coast, where fishermen and hunters are at their best. There's also the resort beaches, where it's full of humans to attack. Industrial docks, where it's close to a huge city and roads. There's also the open ocean for a beautiful wildlife, and much more. A day and night cycle is also included. Throughout the game, the shark will age and gain access to fantasy upgrades, which can be combined to do massive damage. Players can utilize elemental attacks as well as body modifications that take the level of destruction to the next level. Your shark will also gain new powers as it eats its way up through the seas, including developing a treasure shark-like tail whip, also a sturdy casing of protective bone armor or increasingly sensitive sonar skills. Larger fish won't be the only thing that players need to be afraid of. While humans are also food, killing them will cause humans to pay hunter bosses to come after you, each better than the last and one day finally having you meet the protagonist called Scaly Pete. 
He killed your mother and you want your revenge. And this is where the single player story come in. Now I cannot wait for them to show off the Megalodon form that will be playable after the game's release. I don't think we've had a game where you play as one yet. Alright guys, if you'd like more Man Eater on the channel, make sure you drop a like and of course subscribe. I'm planning to do some exclusive gameplays and such in the coming weeks, so stay tuned. Thanks to Jigglyboy for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for 99 cents only. It'll support me and the channel as a whole. Thanks for watching.